he picked Amazon because of its brand and the job role and now he works as a Go AI associate at Amazon. It is a work from home job. Despite being an average student from a tier 3 college, he landed a job at Amazon. Let's hear from Yashwant himself and learn some useful tips and starting a career in data science and how to get hired at Amazon. Welcome Yashwan and a huge round of applause on getting a job at Amazon. While yeah. many students don't even think of applying to farm companies, you managed to secure a job right after your graduation. That is yeah. awesome. Thanks, we have many viewers on Interonshala and through this video, we hope they get useful tips and guidance on how to start their career in data science and also how to get into Amazon. So for yeah. our viewers, please tell us about your educational background and what are you doing currently? Yeah, so uh, in my graduation is 2023. So I have taken uh, BTEC, BTEC as my career after 12. So then I, uh, so I have I got a rank in MSET. So I, I don't have any plan to take IT or CSC because precision is going on. So I got a seat in electrical. So I have studied. But when I reached to my third year or fourth year, then I understood like I need some, like I got some grip on Python and SQL. So I thought like I would be moving to IT side. Because you know, like in IT side, we have good career and growth. So when I when I'm struggling that to get a placement in college since I'm from electrical background. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I did Python course in Intanshala in my second year. Okay. So I liked it. Uh, then I thought of taking again any placement guarantee course in Intanshala. So when I'm going through all this, I I'm seeing full stack data science. But since I'm having good knowledge on SQL and Python, I choose in data science. Oh, great. That is nice. And what are you doing currently? Yeah, now I'm working in Amazon, which is six months contract. Uh, and what is the job title? Yeah, title is Go AI, Global Operations Artificial Intelligence Associate, oh, which great. will be working on operations using AI tool. So when you were in your final year, what kind of feeling was there when graduation is about to complete yeah. and you haven't got place? in your field and you have no job in hand so what kind of yeah. feeling were there yeah actually i'm from tier 3 college so mm -hmm. it's very difficult to get a placement being an electric electrical engineer so when company like companies are coming but they're only ready to hire an csc or it students so being an electrical uh, i tried a lot but i didn't get any so finally i got in business development role which is on lpa but I'm not satisfied with that because since it's a non IT, so yeah. yeah, so I want to move to IT side where where I got to know about this internshala and I've taken data science okay. that helped me, helped me really a lot. Yeah, so, now having a job at Amazon that yeah, is yes. really nice. So, yeah. whom did you call first after getting hired? Actually, I'm at home like. When I when I got this call from HR, so yeah, uh, my parents are the first hmm. to know about that. And what were uh, their but, reaction uh, when you got uh, the job at Amazon? What were their reaction? Yeah, like after graduation, I was sitting uh, doing nothing in four months for, at home. So when I got to know that, they were really happy. And when yeah. it know about no, my friends are known about this, they are like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Amazon, they were like shocked. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, it's an achievement. Like uh, after graduating, uh, being at home for like four to five months, and I have no yeah. idea what to do, and then landing a job in Amazon. So yeah. it's an achievement. So what uh, what course did you take on Internshala, and why did you choose Internshala? Yeah, I've taken data science course in Internshala. Actually, I've taken this because. I, I have taken Python before when I'm in second, BTEC second year. Mm -hmm. So like I really like that Python, not only Python, I have taken Arduino training too in Intanshala. 
so i like the way way of explaining in videos and the people like we have doubt clearing sessions right so the, those are really helpful so i thought of taking in data science in internshala like i want to make it online mm. so uh, then i thought that internshala would be better so i have taken it yeah it's internshala data science placement guarantee course yeah yeah, yeah yeah so as the name suggests so it guaranteed placement upon completion of the course so yeah, actually, uh, this, uh, so were you hopeful that you will get placed or you actually, thought that can be fake or as well no like i did not thought any fake because i know i trust internshala like mm-hmm. since i have taken and i also seen some videos in youtube like who got placement mm-hmm. due, using this course so not only amazon i got the internships from internshala too like internshala jobs i have applied okay. few of internships yeah i got uh, as a data analyst one in bangalore yeah but i am not okay to work in bangalore so i tried i tried and finally i am in amazon okay so could you please tell us like the audience ki what motivated you to choose data science as an career op- option after electrical engineering and how much coding knowledge of coding uh, play a role in that yeah actually when i have taken data science course i don't have any coding knowledge prior so like mm-hmm. i only have python basic knowledge mm-hmm. and i know sql quer- queries so like you know like data science is a com- like combination of data and we can get da- we can be switch into data analyst or machine learn data engineer so in some co- cases we no need of coding like in excel we no need of coding in sql we, like we no need of coding so okay i thought like data science would be better like if we, if we get into data analyst we no need of doing coding on much if we have some excel thing knowledge we can get into data analyst so this is where like i want to take data science okay yeah. students from a non technical background can yeah. make career in data science yeah serious yeah exactly okay that is great so there are many students who apply to fang companies and they don't even get an interview call and you managed to crack a fang interview yeah. so uh, and all this process starts with your resume and job application so yeah. do you do you want to share any tips on uh, that like what kind of resume you should have and what kind of job application you should write to companies yeah actually I have one resume when I'm applying in graduation that I don't think it was good. So after clearing this, after completing this data science course, I have a session of uh, creating resume. So there, I don't know, like she helped me to create a resume. Okay. Yeah, with that resume, I started applying many jobs. So I think that resume helped me. Like we no need, no need to uh, keep our profile pic. it just depend it just uh, depends on our projects we did and that mm-hmm. you mentioned we did so the projects in data science course it really helped me a lot like in many interviews they, they are really impressed with my projects given by internshala yeah see yeah. and you get to work on projects through internshala data science placement guarantee course yeah yeah i i did like five to six projects Uh, if you could tell uh, about one any of the project that you you think that really help you master the skill of uh, skills of data science and also yeah. help you eventually to get a job at amazon yeah the sql project is very best thing uh, i worked on because you know like i um, i kept my all the knowledge on that project i have mm-hmm. i wrote so many queries Mm-hmm. Uh, real that project helped me a lot to crack many interviews because SQL is very basic in every interview. So that project really helped me helped me a lot in many interviews. Yeah, it's all it's about uh, creating creating a team for IPL match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah that is a good project I have ever done. Oh. great so like uh, so as you spoke about the importance of well, having a good resume so now let's uh, talk about the interview process so if you could t- tell the audience little bit about uh, how many rounds were there uh, and some of the questions that were asked in your interview 
and how was the interview overall and some guidelines that viewers can follow to be successful yeah like uh when before going to amazon i've been totally into three rounds which is mm-hmm. uh, one is aptitude second okay. is technical round okay. and third is one hr behavioral okay. mm, according to my experience the i believe sql is very very mandatory mm-hmm. thing because whichever interview i attend they at least they won't leave without asking a query to write yeah i believe like SQL is must and Python oh. basics and DSA. Yeah, mm-hmm. these are must uh, to, to be a fresher to join okay. in a good company. Yeah. Okay. And uh, if you could uh, share some of the questions that were asked in the interview to at Amazon, like for each round for tech aptitude, what what was the format in aptitude, and what was the kind of questions asked in technical round and even HR round. actually i don't i don't remember about exam uh, yeah like it's all like a uh, verbal aptitude yeah like i had written four months back so i don't have any idea so aptitude was a verbal aptitude test or it's online test online test aptitude was online test okay yeah. and and other other two rounds were happened uh, everything was uh, online everything, everything was, was yeah yeah Okay, okay, everything is online. Okay, fine, great. So, like, uh, at times, many students don't even apply to fun companies, thinking that uh, they are every student or uh, they are from a tier three college. So, what okay. advice would you like to give them on how they can get jobs in these companies? Yeah, uh, like I only suggest to be consi- to be consistent on what they're learning. So, mm-hmm. like. we should not to be uh, like demotivated if we don't get like have i have gone through so many rejection mails from large companies so i have never been i have never been demotivated like i was trying 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 like i almost applied to 15 different roles in amazon mm. yeah not only amazon i have tried like so many jobs in big companies even big four i, was, I always used to get only rejection mails every time yeah like i only tell that i should be consistent on our skills mm-hmm. whatever we learn yeah that will really helpful and we should be like hands on should be hands on every every day so that will help to reach yeah. yeah you should be never demotivated that's all i want to tell yeah, it's a great advice so what do you do at amazon uh, now let's talk about a uh, little bit about your job title your job responsibilities your team and the kind of tools you use yeah so it's an operations we know like amazon is for uh, delivering product products right mm-hmm. so we'll be working in mm-hmm. warehouse like mm-hmm. in warehouse there will be large process going on so using an ai tool like it's like uh, if a, a machine giving 98 80 95% accuracy being humans we should give 99% accuracy so using an ai tool we'll be working on that so which where we will give more accuracy than a, ai okay yeah okay. and tell us little bit about your team and the tools you use yeah like coming to my team like i really got a good manager and my colleagues were also good yeah my mm-hmm. manager was so 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 uh, supportive like because of him like we are the best team we are trending right now okay. in our whole organization yeah <laughs> uh, uh the tool we use is like tron hmi it's uh, like amazon built i think like their own tool uh, image pre processing and artificial intelligence yeah okay fine and uh, share your experience so far working at amazon like working culture uh, your learning the network you have built yeah like after getting into amazon like i really got uh, reached to so many people in amazon like mm-hmm. i'm really want like main thing was i want to move to data engineer being in amazon mm-hmm. like my only goal is to become a data engineer so now i am actually working on what i'm working later i want to shift internally and growth internally in amazon mm-hmm. yeah and uh, about uh, uh, amazon's work, uh, work culture yeah it's really really good like since i just went to once in to amazon but 
ट and uh, uh, what did you like the most about the course yeah like so it's totally a four months course we have learned excel sql machine learning with python and tableau so we will have projects of each each skill so when whenever uh, like even it's an online co- online course i never felt like they can they cannot clear my doubts there will be a doubt clearing session where i can clear all my doubts and it really helped me a lot and the projects are the very very best projects i got these projects are like very like help me a lot in interviews mm-hmm. the interviews most are impressive with my sql and machine learning with projects so after after graduation in internshala data science i applied few internships on internshala mm-hmm. there also i got to get some assignments of some companies there also i have done some projects mm-hmm. so i have to get a, into data analyst in one of the company i don't know like i forgot it's from internshala mm-hmm. yeah like i would suggest whoever want to get into data science i would really suggest internshala that is a great advice and uh, so the last question would be for you is if someone wants to make a career in data science what advice would you give to them like what are the first three steps uh, this person should take uh, to to start uh, his or her journey yeah like before going to data science they must be know about basics of machine learning and uh, sql yeah mm-hmm. yeah the, what i understood is you like your knowledge you should have a, a strong foundation of knowledge yeah, yeah. if yeah, you yeah. want to get into data science because yeah, yeah. then only you would able to clear your uh, yeah, being a graduate yeah being a graduate it's must yeah, yeah. so yeah. if if you are uh, a graduate so start early so start gaining yeah, start. Uh, knowledge right and uh, since i have taken my end of the fourth year it was really, really difficult to get into data science from ah so if we yeah. see the key is to start early early yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah or you should take an post graduation okay yeah yeah so yeah uh, great advice yeah so uh, thank you so much yashwan for sharing your story with us and i hope our viewers who are listening to this video will surely get motivated and will work hard to achieve their dreams and yeah. i wish you best of luck for your future endeavors all the best yeah, yeah thank you so much My takeaway from Yashwan's story is that getting a job in farm companies or any other product based company is not that hard as long as you have the right attitude and you are well prepared and also the subject knowledge and skills matter for that you have international placement guarantee courses check them now this was Yashwan's story he did it you can too Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to motivate me and my team and to know more such success stories.